This is uh, St. Paul's Chapel, and it's in Lower Manhattan, and uh, it's a very beautiful chapel. A lot of famous people are buried in the graveyard. You can see the graveyard here, and you can see how beautiful it is. Now, what's nice about this chapel is uh, during 9-11, on uh, September 11, 2001, uh, uh, this chapel remained intact. Even though a lot of things collapsed around here and there were a lot of other problems, everything was really good. And uh, this is one of the only remaining chapels or churches from the colonial era times. It's the original. So you can see how well built it was. We're going to actually go inside to take a look and see what it looks like inside. And also we're going to take a look at the, the tombstones around here just to see what it's like. And here we'll take a look at the plaque that says it's a registered historic landmark just so that people can see it. They can read a little bit of what's going on. And um, it's a very beautiful area around here. It's so historic. It's almost makes you remember how it was 300 years ago here. And you can see all these beautiful tombstones and how peaceful it is. And how it's almost like stepping into another world when everything else is around here. And yet you're able to look and see what it's like walking around and all the people who are here you know from years ago who were buried and how big of an area it is for lower manhattan now all this space is incredibly valuable but yet here you still have the tombstones which is a statement to the respect for history that new york has and how it's a an achievement that after all these years this land was still left and remained for a graveyard. Now, you would think after a while, sometimes people might say they would want to use the land for something else and it is incredibly valuable. But sometimes it's good to leave uh, land for historical purposes and also for a graveyard because at least it's respecting the people who were around before. And here, this is a chance to see what this looks like for the graveyard and a chance to see where all the tombstones are relative to Lower Manhattan. You can see here, there's like a huge development for path train, the entrance for the path train. And like if you look at the distance, you can actually see the building that replaced the Twin Towers. It's all big right there. And that other building on the right is Seven World Trade Center. That was the building that collapsed also during uh, September uh, 1st, uh, September uh, 11th, 2001. So here you can see all the graveyard, the entire graveyard, how everything is very well taken care of. Just a beautiful graveyard, if in terms of what it looks like from an architectural point of view. Just take a look at this. And then we'll take a look inside the church, what that looks like, because that is like really amazing inside too. And they're using it more for religious purposes also, but they also want to have it as like a, a, a living museum to what happened on September 11th, 2001. And so we'll just take a quick glance inside St. Paul's Chapel, see what it looks like. And this is inside, won't be as loud. That's the organ there.
where the governor sat when there was like church service going on. This is a little memorial to the volunteers of 9-11. Just another view of the chapel here. 